Hello Aquarius, I'm Susie from the Gift 22. This is your reading for the week of the 17th of July. I think it's that date, I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead for the next 7 to 10 days and ask the angel what you would like Aquarius to know about the next 7 to 10 days. Ooh. Angels, angels, what would you like Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius to know? About the next seven, seven to ten days for Aquarius, please. I'd like Aquarius to know. Next seven to ten days for Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. What would you like Aquarius to know? What would you like Aquarius to know about the next seven days? Angel Spirit, what would you like Aquarius, please? Aquarius, please. <sighs> Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What would you like Aquarius to know about the next seven to ten days? Okay, right. Um, right, we've got the, uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, this is about planning for the future, like right, next three to five years down the line. But this could also be coming, someone coming with a message and they've been very slow in coming forward. Um, they're the slowest knight, but they prepare. It's about strategizing and preparing for the future. So we've got this Two of Cups with the Six of, of Pentacles. There could have been a meeting eye to eye with a soulmate uh, who wanted to actually equally give and take. Um, there's, there's a commitment to something here. It could be a marriage or an institution, but you're already on your spiritual path. Uh, there could be news about a child and getting rid of anything, any toxic behaviour um, so that you can heal your heart. Maybe there's um, a healing of an ending going on. Um, as someone might want to, is, is working out where they're going to invest their money and their energy now. This could be you. You're very cold to the warmth of relationship, or this Queen of Swords is very cold, cold to the warmth of relationship, and she doesn't take any BS. It's no more, it's the truth authentically or nothing. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is saying it's not the time to maybe, it's not fortunate to sort of offer anything or gamble because it's not the time isn't right because someone's very cold to want for a relationship and something is coming to the end regardless of, of what you want it to be it's something that should have been given up a long time ago with the death card let me just check it's a total transformation with the wheel of fortune there um and death but um The new and better is on the horizon. Um, you're willing to work on something up here with the eight of pentacles because it goes from the seven to the eight. So you do want to work on something. It's just that something else needs to close out first. Something that you should, it's because the timing isn't right while this has to close out. So we've got the twin flame card, the new meeting eye to eye, equal give and take in this. Um, you want commitment, but there's something from the message from the past is something you put in that's starting to bear fruit in the past. This could be a child, um, but so, and the devil is saying it's no longer manipulating me. I'm no longer toxic, um, and now my heart can begin to heal. This could be from a third party situation. Um, where do you invest your energy? What do I do? I need to come correct. I need this no BS. Um, the Queen of Swords. She's just cold, but she is truthful. And it's telling me that there's, there's the wheel is not turning in your favour right now because something's coming to an end that should have come to an end a long time ago. And once this comes to an end, then you could start working on your coin, self-employment, or working on something with somebody. So it's like slowly, like the Knight of Pentacles is, is planning. So the slower you go, the better the more money you'll make. Um, as the coin is going up, we go six, seven, eight. So the stability and the money is going up, but let me 
see what that word of fortune is. Why is that reversed there? Why is that word of fortune reversed? Right, so success in life should never be measured solely in terms of possessions or other worldly achievements. So it's about that realizing it's not about the success isn't is the money's coming in anyway. Um, but success isn't measured by the the money or the achievements or the possessions. It's and I think that's coming to an end. You're having maybe a spiritual transformation. Let's ask the romance angels. What would you like Aquarius to know? Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like? It's like you're cutting out the toxicity to get to heal your heart so that you can invest in truth and authenticity. Um, because it's not about the fortune it's about working on stuff and maybe yourself angel spirit guide universe what would you like aquarius know about the romantic life finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now angel spirit guide universe what would you like aquarius to know attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let's ask the romance angels. Not the romance angels. The angel cards. Angel spirit cards. What would you like Aquarius to know. So you've got you start off meeting with a soulmate who wants to equally give and take energetically, and it, it's like it doesn't matter as long as you you're authentic. That money will go up. That those things don't really. You can't take them with you, Aquarius. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like? It's a detox week, that's what it is. <laughs> Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Aquarius to know about this week? On the next seven to ten days, what would you like Aquarius to know? Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Aquarius to know? What would the angels, what's the top guidance for Aquarius, please? What would you like Aquarius to know about this week of the 17th of July? Okay. To make my, look at the picture on this card. To make my decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, which way takes me away from it. It's like the debauched route is the easy route and it's it's quick and it's fun. But if you take the different route, which is the spiritual way, you'll be rewarded gradually along the path. I can because I can see the six, seven, eight. Whatever you're doing this week, you're moving in the right direction. Even if something comes to an end, you're still moving solidly to, towards mastery. Because the nine of pentacles is the mastery, sovereignty, independence. So um, you, you've got to work out um, what's best for you in the, in the long run. So let's ask the... truth cards the person most on Aquarius's mind no, actually let me read Vanessa for you Aquarius it might give you more information and then the glasses on here let's see can I see um mm. Should I go this way or that way? You wonder. One day you're sure of your decision, the next day you question it again. This indecision will be healed by focusing on your divine life purpose. 
Even if you aren't sure of your purpose's exact nature, you do know that it involves bringing peace to yourself and others. Based on this foundation then, which decision brings you the most peace? If you're still unsure, then ask God and the angels to help you further. You can ask us, which decision will help the most people? This is a wonderful basis upon which to make your choice. Sometimes the easiest route is the one that takes you further away from your divine purpose. So your indecision may come from the fear of making waves or uncertainty about your future. In such cases, gradual change is warranted. Slowly introduce your new direction into your daily life and ease out of your old direction slowly. In that way, you won't frighten yourself and will be more open to hearing God's guidance and you will feel our love. Yes, you're gradually moving into the, the mastery of yourself and the old and outworn must go. So the truth cards, the person most on your mind, Aquarius, what would they like you to know? Angel spirit guides. The person most on your mind. <clears throat> so we've got too many, too many, too many, too many, too many, too many. Angel spirit, person most on the Aquarius' mind. What would they like the Aquarius to know? Person most on the Aquarius' mind. What would they like the Aquarius to know? Person most on the Aquarius' mind. What would they like the Aquarius to know? Okay, so we've got. It's time for me to heal now. I lost myself for a little while. So many things remind me of you, and I feel you leaving me behind. So it's if you're heal your healing, there's this it's like two of cups meeting eye to eye with someone, six of pentacles, equal give and take, the hierophant, commitment already on your spiritual path, but there's something maybe a child involved or someone that you, something you put money in in the past and it's starting to bear fruit. The toxicity, the de you're cutting out the devil, you're healing your heart of an ending. Um, maybe you're healing or going back to a relationship. Um, you're wondering where to invest your energy. Someone might be cold to the warmth of relationship and the timing isn't right just now because something needs to come to an end before you can start mastering yourself and or they want to work on something with you. But it seems that slowly, slowly... By working on your purpose, and like we said, we had the Knight of Pentacles. It's a vision, but he's on a cart horse. He's not on a moving horse. He's stable. He works outside. He looks after sick bees. He's very kind. And he invests in his future. So into the stability. So I hope I've helped you in some kind of way, Aquarius. Please like, share and subscribe. And I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.